And now stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of Building an Island Base. Once Colonel Bleep and his friends were back on Zero Zero Island, Little Squeak could wait no longer to build a home. In fact, Squeak had already drawn a sketch of the kind of house he dreamed of, with picket fence and a garden for flowers and vegetables. But how can you build a house without the tools of the carpenter's trade? You know a carpenter is an expert in the use of hammers and saws and planes and chisels. But Squeak and Scratch had no tools. However, they did have Colonel Bleep, who brought with him from outer space... Utomic energy. The power of the future. Stronger even than atomic energy. And so, bleep through the F energizer switch. And suddenly there was a beautiful little house for Squeak. With a huge cave underneath for Scratch. And completely covering the entire island was a gigantic plastic-like dome to protect them from bad weather and insects and which would also serve as a giant laboratory for Bleep's experiments and research. But Squeak and Scratch could not linger long in their house and cave because Colonel Bleep reminded them it was travel time again, this time to see the Belgian Congo. Here we go. Looking down on the continent of Africa from high in the sky, Bleep, Squeak, and Scratch see that the Belgian Congo looks something like an ivy leaf. The stem touches the Atlantic Ocean on the west, and the central vein of the leaf is formed by the Congo River, which curves some 3,000 miles into the interior and is the only river in the world that crosses the equator twice. The capital city of Leopoldville is a modern, busy river port. Half of the Belgian Congo is covered by dense equatorial jungle with a temperature in the 80s almost every day of the year. If Bleep and his friends were to crash <laughs> in this land, they would find jungles that are almost useless to man. Few tropical fruits grow here, and in fact, until recently, the natives lived almost entirely on game they snared or shot with bow and arrow. Today, civilization is moving into the Congo and the wild animals, antelope, zebra, rhinoceros, hippopotamus, and gorilla are slowly disappearing except in the game reserves, and the natives are being taught modern farming methods. The Belgian Congo was first opened to Europeans by Henry Morton Stanley, the American newspaper man, the same Mr. Stanley who said, Dr. Livingston, I presume. To most people, the Belgian Congo would not be considered a very pleasant place to live. But it is an interesting place for Bleep, Squeak, and Scratch to visit. 